Have you ever wondered how pro athletes maintain their confidence under immense pressure? And here's the thing, it's not that they just train hard or have natural talent, most athletes do. It's that they actually have systems in place to consciously build this confidence. Because generally speaking, most athletes lack confidence and if you're watching this video, chances are you are too. And I think it's fair to say that generally, most of us aren't taught how to actually build confidence as athletes. We're taught how to do all the physical things and train hard and so on but no one's ever really given us the blueprint on how to get to that next level when it comes to being confident. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna be teaching you the two biggest confidence mistakes that athletes, and most likely you, make that ruin confidence. Number two, the three steps to dominance blueprint that we use to guarantee results for our athletes. Number three, the cheat code pro athletes use to rapidly get results. And finally, number four, how we guarantee our athletes a win before the game even starts. And all of this will help you stop underperforming and start winning so that you can start getting results immediately. Hey Difference Makers, welcome back to the channel and welcome to our first video in the How to Build Confidence series for athletes. And if you're new here, welcome. My name's Matt Calderoni, ex-pro athlete turned resilience coach and co-founder of Moliteum, where we help athletes discover and reach their true potential by building their resilience. And on this channel, we explore the practical mental tools and strategies that we use with all of our pro athletes across leagues like the NHL, NBA, NFL, MLS, and so many more so that you can start getting results like they do. Now there's two big mistakes that most athletes make when trying to build their confidence. The first one, and it's going to sound kind of funny is actually trying to build your confidence and this is a mindset shift we're going to talk about in a second and the second one is that they're actually missing a crucial element which is what we're going to talk about in the process of this entire video now diving into mistake number one most athletes are trying to build confidence and we need to change your mindset around this we actually don't want to build confidence we want to master a skill this is called skill mastery Skill mastery is when you repeat a skill so many times or practice it so many times that it becomes second nature, AKA when you walk into a game and you don't think. Skill mastery actually focuses on honing in on skills versus confidence, which comes from getting results in past performances. So where most athletes get this wrong is that they focus on results from past performances but sometimes the results aren't that good. Instead, what we wanna do is take an approach like the great Steph Curry, where he has a mindset around, he just wants to become a master of his craft. And that's essentially what skill mastery is. So first things first, shift your mindset from trying to build confidence to mastering a skill. Now for mistake number two and missing that crucial element, here's what I mean by it. When it comes to skill mastery, there's two things that go into it. Number one is certainty and number two is confidence. So it's certainty times confidence. Here's the thing though. Most of us only focus on the confidence piece, but the reality is certainty comes first. Certainty is belief within yourself because you've honed in on those skills. If you think about some of the world's best athletes, they walk into performances sure of themselves, yes, because they've gotten results in the past, but more importantly, because they have the certainty. Let me show you how it works. So at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is unleash potential. The only way to unleash potential is by taking actions. When you take actions, you get certain results. And as a result of that, the traditional way where most people build confidence is that then their certainty raises. Now, here's the truth. If we're trying to unleash potential, the reality is there have been certain actions that you need to take, aka skills that you need to perform, that you're actually unsure of. So because you're unsure of these skills, you do one thing here, and that's oftentimes you hesitate. And when you hesitate, the biggest problem is you take hesitant actions, which gets you hesitant results. And if you think about this for a sec, any time that you've hesitated, the results have never been that good. You've held back, you've overthought things, maybe even comes to a point that you just don't take action at all. So the reality is we actually don't need to focus on building more potential because you have a lot of stored potential as an athlete. What you need to do is get yourself into an ideal state to take massive action without holding back. So there's a way to do that. You don't just have to build potential, that's impossible, you already have it. You don't just have to focus on the actions because like we spoke about, some of us hesitate. And you can't just focus on results because they're uncontrollable. There is one thing that you need to build and focus on and that's certainty. And the only way to build certainty, like we'll talk about, is through mental repetition and physical reps. Now here's a mistake that most athletes make. Most athletes only focus on these physical repetitions. This is only half of the equation. Mental repetitions are actually what allows us to build directly this certainty. And you've heard of many athletes who actually visualize a lot. Think about it, Kobe Bryant, Michael Phelps, Michael Jordan, all these great athletes have spoken about using visualization in some of their practices. And the reason that this works and the reason that the certainty is so important is simply because of this. When you visualize, it allows you to work on perfect practice. Perfect practice creates what's called neural associations within your nervous system. That gives you that feeling of not thinking. 
it's like tracing over a piece of paper over and over and over again and eventually it rips a hole through it. That then gets ingrained in your nervous system and it's the same way when you visualize. So, where most athletes get this wrong is that they're only focused on confidence, where confidence comes from the results that you get. And like I showed you in that little diagram we went through, you don't need to focus on the results. You only really need to focus on the certainty aspect. Confidence comes after. Let me show you what I mean. So the way this all works is that you first need to build certainty and we're gonna break it down later, but like I said, through mental reps and through physical reps. Now, here's the reality. Does every single athlete go into games absolutely 1 million percent feeling it? No, they have to tap into something that allows them to get results and that's courage to take action. But without certainty, you'll never have that courage to go do what you need to do. So when you have the courage, you one, take action and you go do what you need to do. And when you take action, it then leads to you getting results. And because you get these results, it finally breeds into that confidence piece. And now when you have that action, actionable process that you can follow where you know how to build certainty, it allows you to get courage and you've gotten the results before, you now have a foolproof system to then build into that confidence. Because where your confidence is really gonna come from is actually through your self-reflection on the results that you've gotten. So when you do it, and the way that it looks, it's like throughout the week, and we'll talk about this, you work on building certainty, which allows you to be courageous going into a game, which then allows you to get the results down here. And then finally, it's like, oh, you know what? Since I did one and two, I can now get three. And then when you reflect, it allows you to keep building that confidence. So now that you understand that we need to master skills, here's the three-step blueprint that we follow to guarantee results for our athletes come game day. Now there's a formula that you can follow to master skills that the world's best athletes use and that we use with them. So here's how simple it is. You need a desired outcome broken down into or divided by skills times repetition. Let me use an example for this. There's an NBA player that we work with, Kyle Kuzma. He's a fantastic athlete. Now Kyle wanted the desired outcome of being able to shoot a three ball with somebody in his face when he was getting guarded. So we had to break it down into two skills. So the first skill that he needed to master was getting very comfortable shooting that three ball with nobody around him. That's the basic skill. He then needed to also master the skill of shooting that three ball when somebody was guarding him or right in his face. By combining these two, where we then had him visualize himself first shooting that perfect three ball and then shooting that three ball with someone in his face. And then he would actually go practice these skills on the court where he did 10 minutes of shooting an open three ball and then 10 minutes of shooting a contested three ball. As a result of that, Kyle was able to put that repetition in and in turn, he mastered the outcome. Where most athletes get this wrong is that they usually just practice the outcome. You need to break it down into skills and then put in the mental and physical repetitions. Now, here's how you wanna put in the mental reps. It's very simple. Make sure that you are actually visualizing three times a week, get specific on the skill, and you can do so by sitting down, closing your eyes, and doing 10 repetitions of each skill, perfectly seeing it happen. For the physical practice, I suggest 10 minutes at least a day of working on that one skill. Do not try to master more than one skill over the course of 30 days simply because you won't have enough time. Now there's one more thing that we're doing with our pro athletes to master these skills in the course of a week so that they could rapidly get results. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Now here's the thing about the mental repetitions that I've spoken about, and this is your key. Mental reps are like a cheat code. And the reason they're like a cheat code is because you might not have even gotten the results before, but you can mentally get them before you even step onto the court field or whatever it might be. And here's the truth. Confidence is going to ebb and flow because it won't come until after the performance like we spoke about. But that certainty that you can build directly with those mental reps, that's your key. So what I would highly suggest is that you put a lot of time into the mental repetition side and really master that. And there's multiple videos we have on our channel about how to properly visualize that you can check out. And then I would take your time and physically practice those skills. But just remember, it's a desired outcome that's broken down then into skills times repetition. And if you're cheating those reps, it's not gonna work. So with that, let me show you the last thing that we're doing with pro athletes to guarantee the results or wins before they even step into game day and how you need to break this down over the course of a week. Now there's a saying here that we have at Molotium and it comes from a philosophy about what we have on game day and that's you need to prepare to let go. See, our belief here is that you should be enjoying yourself on game day, right? The world's best athletes talk about it. The Steph Curry's, Tom Brady's, Michael Jordan's, Kobe Bryant's, all of them. If you look at how they play and perform, it's like they're having fun. But the only way to have fun is to have three elements in place. And like you can see here, 
What you want to do to get into a peak performance mindset is you need to be excited, certain, and focused. So let's talk about this. Excitement comes from you wanting to get that desired outcome in a game. The certainty comes from you putting in the repetitions and doing the work, which we're gonna talk about here. And the focus then comes into knowing the one or two things that you just need to focus on in a game, like aggression or getting to the net or whatever it might be, to activate all that work. But the reality is this. If you're gonna go into a game unleashing your full potential, you need to make sure you build your certainty throughout the week. So let's look at this for a sec. So where most athletes go wrong with this is that the start of the week, let's pretend is here on Monday. You've got a game on Friday and then you have your Saturday, Sunday off. Most athletes get super obsessed over game day, right? And before it even comes on, you know, a Friday, they're already thinking about it and it's only Monday. The reality is this though, if you're only obsessed on game day or that Friday, the truth is, is that you're really not doing the work that you need. Game day, the only thing that you need here and the part of that formula that I just showed you, game day is just about focus, right? That's all you really need to do on game day. Here's the truth behind this all. Now where the world's best athletes do it differently is that they don't care that much about game day. Game day is just a time for them to go kind of put their final product on the field, court, whatever it might be. Where they put all their focus into is what's going on between their Monday to Friday. This is where they care the most about. And what they really wanna do is here, like you can see, they put all of their focus and energy into what's going on before their games because they their one goal compared to other athletes is to build absolutely as much certainty as humanly possible before the game starts. We call this prepare to let go. And when you do this and you prepare and you're so damn prepared by doing the right physical or the mental reps, sorry, like I told you before, and you have the right physical reps, like I told you before, and you practiced it, and you do it so many times on game day, you're gonna trust yourself. Because the reality is this, most athletes who get anxious, or nervous, or scared, or whatever it might be on game day, it's actually not because they have pre-game jitters. That's kind of a lie. The reality is, their prep just sucks. And if you're an athlete who's going into game day, nervous, anxious, worried, and all this, I bet you're actually not that. I bet you're actually feeling guilty because you didn't prepare the right way, but now you know how to. So, this is how we guarantee wins before the game even starts. And actually, Steph Curry talks a lot about this, where he says, you know, before the game even starts, I'm walking in there knowing I've already won. And I think there was some ridiculous study that was just put out, and they saw how many shots that Steph has taken over his career, which was like five to 7,000, I believe. Don't quote me on it. And then they looked at his practice repetitions, and they saw that he's actually been shooting in practices close to 15 to 17,000 repetitions total. And it's like, when you look at that, that's like, way more than he's actually shooting in games, but why? Because like we spoke about with skill mastery, he has a desired outcome, which is to score that three ball, and he broke it down into skills, and then all he's doing is repetition, 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 both physically and mentally, and the mental part is the most important. So there you have it. Now you've got the picture-perfect blueprint to build your confidence as an athlete. Let's recap it really quick. Number one, don't make the big mistake of just trying to build confidence. We're here to master a skill and make sure that we're using certainty. Number two, the three-step dominant blueprint that we use to guarantee results for our athlete consists of skill mastery, which equals desired outcomes, broken down into skills times repetition, both physically and mentally. Number three, the cheat code that you need to use is mental repetitions. Remember, take those skills that you're, visual, that you're breaking down and make sure you visualize them every day of the week and you wanna do one set of 10 repetitions of perfect practice for that skill. Each skill that you use, make sure you do another set of 10. We don't suggest going over more than two skills per month because you won't be able to master it. And finally, we guarantee results for our athletes before the game even starts by making sure they prepare to let go, AKA they're super focused on building certainty before games and they let the results take care of themselves. You now have the confidence blueprint that you need to be a dominant athlete. Now this was the first video in our How to Build Confidence for Athletes series. Tune in next week, or if we already have this, we'll link it in the video now if you're tuning in later on. But we'll actually be covering another part of the series where we're gonna focus in specifically 
on the aspect of how to properly do these things. Now, if you got value from this video, please help this channel grow. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. We're going to be coming out with videos every week. We also have the Difference Maker podcast that you can check out too, where we deep dive on multiple different topics. It's a little bit of a different vibe. And finally, if you do want to work with us and you are looking for one-on-one coaching, you can actually click the link down below to apply. We only take on two athletes per week or eight total per month. It's first come, first serve. You'll simply have to fill out a form. Once you fill out that form, you'll be able to book a call with myself or one of our Moleteam coaches to see if you're a good fit. And if we can help you and it fits within what you need to do, we definitely will. So with that being said, tune in next week, or if it's already done, it'll be linked here to our next video on the how to build confidence series for athletes. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the full podcast episode, click right here.